are you guys there? <laughs> oh, I don't know why it has a delay of the uh, voice in these things. Anyway, uh, welcome back. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. Hey, listen, this is really weird. Um, I don't like this. And I don't think there's that much of a story. Uh, I had talked about this before and said that this was like the you know question is this the next Gabby Petito type killing and um, yeah I, uh, I I don't like when I saw this pop up. Family of Cheney native says she was strangled to death. Body will soon be coming home. Hmm. I wonder why I asked if. Uh, she remind anybody of Gabby Petito. The family of Sativa Transu says that after weeks of tragic, this was the girl that it was before Thanksgiving. Her and her boyfriend were down in Cancun doing the Cancun thing. And like one of the last text messages she sent to somebody was that her and him were uh, uh, like seven shots in that day and it's like I don't know it was like early in the morning It'd be like ah you know hey woo you know do the guy do the woo girl thing right you guys uh hey seven shots by 12 a.m or 12 p.m and um you know I mean doing the Cancun thing right that's the last time anybody heard from her and then until authorities found her beaten to a pulp they described her as Oh, uh, let's see here. The beloved sister and daughter finally have a glimmer of hope with a strong possibility of her body soon ret returning to the U.S. Soon returning. This was before Thanksgiving. Uh, she was found dead in Cancun hotel room before Thanksgiving. Duh. Apparently, been working to get her home since. On Wednesday, her sister, MB, we're going to call her because there's no way I can pronounce that. So that they hired a lawyer in Mexico to work on releasing Sativa's body from Mexican authorities. Oh my gosh, dude, that is like every movie you ever watch about going to Mexico, right? I mean, it's it's uh, uh, crooked. It's absolutely crooked. By the way, don't forget to subscribe, please. I hate doing this in the middle of this, but... 99% of you want me to get to the end, and I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to get some subscribers built back up, so anyway, I appreciate you guys so much, alright, um, so yeah, every movie you've ever seen is like, you know, you go to Mexico, and you wake up in a uh, bathtub of ice hooked up to a dialysis machine, and your kidneys are missing, uh, I mean, that is, there, I have no interest. There are so many places in America I'd rather go. Uh, just go to San Diego. It's right across the border. You get the same food, and you have due process rights. Uh, the final half of this week, I hope Saturday will be prepared to come home on Thursday. Transit grew up in uh, Shaney. Uh, she graduated from Eastern Washington University and then moved to a small town near Tacoma. Tacoma's a neat place. Let's see here. Uh, that's where she's been living when she left for Cancun with her boyfriend. Family says she had plans to be a massage therapist, but tragically, she'll never get that chance. Uh, the U.S. consulate in Mexico called Transu's uh, immediate family and told them she'd been found dead in the fourth floor hotel room she shared with her partner and was named a suspect and identified by Cancun police only by her first name, Taylor. Oh, only by his first name, Taylor. Sorry. That's the boyfriend. Uh, the sister says her official cause of death is strangulation. Now, okay, all right, this is new to me. All right, so she says this. I see what I'm trying to remember is it's like when this happened, again, they said that she was beaten to a pulp. And when you read that and you hear read strangulation, I was wondering to myself, did she, you know, strangle on her own blood? Oh, I hate saying that out loud. Was she choked? Uh, well, you know, 
there's so much that I don't understand, and it, it goes back the same way it was with Gabby Petito. Uh, you know, she was uh, what they said it, what they called it throttled, and I mean I don't understand this stuff. I, uh, medical terms for death. I try. I don't believe in death. I don't believe in talking about it. I don't believe in re reveling in it. I don't like it. It's the natural enemy to humans. Uh, let's see here. She, uh, the sister says that hotel staff told their family that on the morning she was found murdered, Transu's partner had come down to ask for help because his girlfriend was unconscious. She also says that her bo uh, boyfriend did not have any drugs in his, in his system when he was arrested, other than alcohol. He's a mean drunk. The family is planning to celebrate her life for the young woman after her uh, body returns home. Gosh, I mean, this is just... I mean, what do you do, right? What do you do when... Everybody remembers young love, right? Young love is a fabulous thing. You wish you could capture that moment of your first kiss of the... I mean, if you're married now, you know, remember the first time you kissed your spouse. I mean, you wish that every kiss had that feeling. It's, uh, uh, young love is, uh, it's magical. And to be so fortunate to be able to go to a place like Cancun at a young age with a person you love, and you realize, like, I don't know, what is love? After, after hearing this, what is uh, I don't know, the whole situation is just crap. So anyway, I'm going to keep on following her now. Um, it's just sad. Just sad to, for all of us, sad for, sad for the world. So anyway, uh, listen guys, uh, please subscribe. Please, uh, we don't have likes anymore. And uh, I think we do. What's the, uh, uh, the new thing I've heard that uh, you... You are shadow banned until you get shared. That's the new thing. So anyway, uh, love you guys. Take care. Peace, love, all the wonderful, fun stuff. Be good to each other. Find some mistletoe and find someone to kiss, okay? Love you guys. Till next time, Godspeed.